know that while Christopher Columbus is the man credited by discovering America, North and South America are actually named after someone else. They are named after an, an Italian adventurer, Amerigo Vespucci. Born to wealthy parents in Florence, Italy in March 1451, Amerigo Vespucci grew up in a large mansion near the river. As a young boy, Amerigo excelled in mathematics and his hobby was copying maps. Since his childhood days, Vespucci had wanted to be a sailor and to travel to for games lands. After working for a ship company for several years, when Vespucci was in his 40s, he decided to go on a voyage himself. Not many facts or details are available about Vespucci's travel at end. 1497, Vespucci claimed that he went on a voyage to the New World. A little is known about this because there was not much evidence, evidence to support that he actually made this voyage. Evidence would include journals, they used or any crew members to know about what happened. Later, people began to doubt that Vespucci had really been to America. Columbus became known as the founder of the New World, even though he thought he was in India. In 1499, Vespucci made his second voyage and this was the first time anyone has supposedly gone to the new world. Vespucci returned with his crew twice to the new world, exploring the coast of North and South America. His crew returned to Spain in 1504 and told their story to map makers so they so that they could put the places on the map. A map maker suggests they called it America after Amerigo Vespucci. Soon, this name was used throughout and eventually was used officially in the naming of the court. Continent. Vespucci may or may not have discovered the Americas, but they are named after him. In this way, his name continues to live, to live, to live on. Thank you.